Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. This place is called Niagara Old Fort. Niagara Old Fort. Around this place, there are a few old buildings and forts. This is a place where war took place. At one time, this was under the authority of the French. After that, the British fought with them and made this theirs. Then, in the 18th century, the Americans fought and made this place their own. Many signs are kept in this place where wars took place. They have placed this cross here. And did you see behind this cross? Doesn't it look like a huge sea? Are you thinking what sea is this? This isn't a sea. This is a huge lake. Lake Ontario is a huge lake which is like the sea. There is water as far as the eye can see. On this side it is America, on the other side of this it is Canada. This is a huge lake which connects both countries. And I am very happy to be speaking to you from there. That too on this day, the Lord Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. You have some need, it may be financial needs, you might need health, you might be in need of a place. There is some matter, something that is necessary for you to live in this world. A place to stay or a good job or profession, many such things are there. You need clothes to wear and food to eat. We have our daily needs. We worry about this a lot and are troubled. The Lord says, don't be worried about this. The Lord knows what you should eat and what you should wear. Seek first the kingdom of God and the righteousness of the Lord, and all of this will be added to you. All this will be granted to you. Whatever you need will be granted to you. The Lord promises that He will give you. He will not let you starve and go hungry. He will not let you be without clothes. Whatever you need in this world, He will give it all to you. But if you have to receive it, you should first seek God and His righteousness, the kingdom of God. It means the rule of God. His rule must come inside us. We must seek and desire that the kingdom of God should be present in this world. That should be the first preference. What do you give first place to? Some will give first place to the efforts that they make. Some will give first place to their business. Some will say, my work is feeding me. That is the topmost priority. Some will say that the first place is for something or some person, but Jesus says, Seek first the kingdom of God. I should reside in the kingdom of heaven. After this world, I should be with the Lord in the kingdom of God. Seek that, the righteousness of Lord God. As long as I am in this world, I shouldn't live as I please. I should live in a manner that pleases God. He is a righteous God. All that I speak and do should be righteous. You should be careful not to do anything unrighteous. The Lord says, if you are careful about this, you don't have to be worried about your needs. It will come in search of you. This is what God says. Then what should you seek? You should seek His kingdom and His righteousness. Inscribe it deep within your heart. Dear Lord, I want you. I should share in your kingdom. I should live a righteous life as you please. Give me that grace. I shouldn't give place to anything that is unrighteous. Then your daily needs will be met. God will perform a miracle in all the matters that you need. That's all. Don't worry. Look unto the Lord and say, Dear Lord, I want you first. Your kingdom should come in me. After death, I should share in your kingdom. I commit myself to live righteously like you. In the name of Lord and Saviour Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.